In this video, I want to prove in Lean that A implies A and A, and I will prove it twice. Uh, in the first proof, I will give using lambda terms directly. In the second proof, um, I'm going to use tactics. For the proof using lambda terms, as always, we start by uh, placing an underscore in the place where the uh, where the proof should go. So that lean shows us, again, what is to be proved. A implies A and A. It's important to understand that uh, the end binds close, more closely, more tightly than the implication. So the, what I'm marking here, A and A should be thought of as being in parentheses. That means that the main connective of the formula to be proved is the implication. And the proof of an implication typically starts by assuming the, uh, the thing to the left-hand side of the, um, of the implication. And then, so this means we put, we assume having a proof of A that we call tiny A, and it remains to prove A and A. When the goal is a conjunction, an end, it's often convenient to uh, use the introduction rule and dot intro. And dot intro takes two arguments that we uh, indicate by putting two underscores uh, after and dot intro. And each underscore corresponds to uh, a proof of one of the two uh, conjuncts. So on the one hand, we should prove A because the goal was proving A and A. So this, this A that we have to prove now is the first A. And this is easily proved just by using our, our hypothesis that we have in the context, uh, our A. So we replace the first underscore by an A. And we go to the next uh, sub goal to proof, which is again A. We need to prove A. And at our disposal, again, we have a proof of A that we called tiny A. So we'll just pick that proof. This concludes the proof uh, of using lambda terms of the proposition A implies A and A. Now let's go to the proof using tactics. Um, the tactic mode in Lean uh, is started with the keyword begin and terminated with the keyword end. And in between those two keywords, we can write lean tactics to solve the proof, to solve the, the goal of proving A implies A and A. And the proof in tactics mirrors essentially the proof using lambda terms, but we have to use different keywords. We have to use tactics. The tactic corresponding to assume is called intro for introduction. So here we start this proof by introducing the assumption A, which changes our goal statement. We now have the assumption A, tiny a, of, uh, which is a proof of the proposition A in the, uh, in the hypothesis here. And it remains to prove A and A. As the next step, the next step in the Tactic proof will mirror the use of n.intro. And the way this is done in tactics is simply by doing apply n.intro. And when we do this, uh, so we place, when we place the cursor after the comma, each tactic line has to be uh, stopped with a, or um, terminated with a comma. And when we place the cursor after the comma, uh, on the right hand side, we are are shown the goals that appear. So now we, we see two goals. This is the first goal. And the second goal is identical to the first one. Both of them say that we need to prove A. And we in both cases, we do have the hypothesis A that we can use to do so. It is good practice when we have two sub goals, uh, when we have one tactic that creates uh, two or more sub goals, uh, each the proof of each sub goal should be put into curly braces. So here we have two sub goals. So we will open two curly braces. And in each brace, 
we then uh, solve in, or in each pair of braces, we then solve one of the sub goals. Now we are in the first pair of braces. We are being shown only the first sub goal, which is to prove A, knowing that we have an A, a proof of A in our toolbox. So we will just apply our hypothesis, oops, our hypothesis A. And when we stay in the sub goal, we see now on the right hand side the message no goals. We have solved the first sub goal. So in, within the first sub goal, we don't have anything else to do. The first sub goal is proved. We place our cursor into the next sub goal, into the next pair of uh, braces, we see the next sub goal. And since this sub goal is the same as the one before, we can just copy the proof using the same proof. And this closes the first, um, the second sub goal, and it also closes the entire proof. 